The Sharks seemed caught off guard by Vegas' speed in Game 1, but they made some terrific adjustments in Game 2 as they were able to even this series. They had to find a way to slow Vegas down through the neutral zone, and they did just that. We'll start by taking a look at puck battles won in the neutral zone. Sharks talked about doing a better job of this, and they did. Game number one, one out of every four puck battles they won. That number was up over 50% in game number two. Another area they improved in was preventing Vegas from hitting their blue line with speed. And we can measure this with zone denial rates. This measures every time the defending team is able to prevent the attacking team from entering their zone with possession of the puck. This number in Game 2, almost 50%, significantly better than it was in Game Number 1. So that's a great job by the Sharks not to allow Vegas to hit their blue line with speed. What does it all mean? Well, in Game Number 1, Vegas created three goals in transition at even strength off the rush. That number was down to zero in Game Number 2. So some terrific adjustments made by the San Jose Sharks to limit Vegas' speed, and it was a catalyst to their overtime win in game number two. Now we've got Vegas Golden Knights head coach Gerard Gallant, a coach of the year finalist. We'll see what adjustments he can make for his team entering game three tonight.